I'm Terry Atkinson and today I'd like to show you how to get a perfect quarter inch seam. When you have a unit that has seams sewn in it, you want it to match up perfectly to one that you've cut that has no seams. Many people will check on the back to measure their seam allowance, but the important thing is how big is it on the front and does it match up to your other pieces. I'd like to show you three easy steps to get a perfect seam allowance. We'll stitch using a quarter inch foot, press from the right side, and measure to double check how big it is. All you need are some little scraps of fabric cut one and a half by three and a half inches. Stitch two of the inch and a half by three and a half inch pieces together along the long edge, paying attention to how it looks as it's going underneath the quarter inch foot. I like to press after each seam. First I press the piece flat to kind of set the stitches and then I reach in and push that fabric away with the iron so I'm actually pressing on the right side. Make sure as you press that you don't have a little tuck right next to the seam. Okay. Stitch a third strip and then press it the same way so we're reaching in and pressing away. Now it's time to go measure and see how our seam allowance turned out. Okay, let's measure the square. You should have a square that measures exactly three and a half by three and a half inches, and that center strip that you sewed should be an exactly an inch wide. Remember, we're measuring on the right side of the piece. We're not measuring the back. If your piece is smaller than three and a half inches, and your center strip is smaller than one inch, that means you used up too much in the seam allowance and your seams were too fat. Try again with a slightly skinnier seam allowance. If you measure your square and it ends up bigger than three and a half, it means you didn't use enough in your seam allowance and you need to try again with a slightly fatter seam allowance. Remember, the center should measure exactly an inch and the side of the square should be exactly three and a half inches. Keep testing until you get a test square that measures exactly three and a half inches square. Remember, the few minutes that you spend now testing are going to save you a lot of time and frustration later.